Welcome to We Build It, We Break It. Today, Sean and I will be making a palace out of shoeboxes that will definitely be fit for a king. Then Kaden and I are gonna try to find the best ways to send that shoebox palace tumbling down. Where are you guys gonna get all those shoeboxes? Luckily, Sean loves shoes. No, I don't. I just appreciate them. You spent 45 minutes yesterday telling me about your new sneakers. These shoes were specifically designed for jumping. And you were hugging them during the horror movie last week. I was scared last week. It's not my fault shoes are naturally comforting. Well, let's just hope Sean keeps buying shoes, because your shoebox palace is gonna have to be huge to stand up against our wave of destruction. Our palace will definitely be big enough to totally hang 10 on your wave of destruction. Yup. Get ready to witness a crazy cardboard confrontation on We Build It, We Break It! If we're gonna use my special shoe boxes, this palace has to be extra awesome. Hmm, what can we surprise the breakers with? That would be extra awesome. Hmm. We could put popcorn in the shoe boxes, and when they hit it, it'll explode. They'll never expect that. It'll be just like when that scary movie I saw with Caden got really scary, and everybody in the theater jumped and spilled their popcorn everywhere. Exactly, but what is the palace part going to look like? <gasps> We can make it look like the Chinese King Summer Palace that we learned about in history class this year. Yeah, our palace should have a big yellow door like his did. Oh, and we can hire a guy to stand there and salute people when he opens the door. Um, maybe we should just stick to the yellow door. Yeah, you're right. But you know what we should have? A moat! We gotta find a way to completely destroy their palace. What's the natural enemy of a palace? Oh, a palace? Crushing dinosaur. I like the vibe, but dinosaurs are extinct, so I'm not sure we'd be able to find one. Good point. Oh, what about a pterodactyl that'll swoop down and pick their palace apart? Pterodactyls are also extinct. Dang it. I always forget that. Oh, wait. You know what instrument of destruction has been around since dinosaurs and is still today? Dirt? Close. A boulder! We can launch it! My mom has these super stretchy workout bands that make a crazy powerful slingshot. The palace won't even know what hit it! Yeah. Another genius plan brought to you by The Breakers! Due to the delicate nature of shoe boxes, they can be a little tricky to work with. Which is why we brought shoe box building expert, Trevor, to give us a hand. These are some of the most amazing blueprints I've ever seen but they're pretty complicated, so we should probably get to work. <laughs> How are we gonna keep the shoeboxes from falling over? The weight of the popcorn is gonna keep the shoeboxes in place. Whoa, gravity is a builder's best friend. <laughs> hmm, this looks good, but it needs to look more palacey. Well, how are our towers coming? Well, I just have these glass pieces. You want some help with that one? Yes, please. All right. What are we gonna do for the big yellow door? Well, I have one right here that we're gonna glue to the front of the castle. Yes! I finally get to use my glue skills. <laughs> and let's add the blue fabric all around the palace to be the moat. Emergency. What is it? If there is a moat around the whole thing, no one can get into the palace. Hmm. Maybe we should make a shoebox bridge. Yeah. Now the king won't be all alone in his palace. This palace turned out totally worthy of my special shoeboxes. Caden and Hutch are up to. Probably something very destructive. <laughs> you guys ready? Ready! ready. Remove, Remove the wall! wall. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! That's awesome! That's insane! That's the coolest shoebox palace I've ever seen! How tall is your palace? 
Six feet. He's even taller than my dad. It has a moat? Yep. Well, we have to protect him from bad guys, don't we? Hmm. Is this a giant slingshot? You bet it is. Are these made out of workout bands? My mom uses these. All moms have these, but now that I think about it, I've never seen any mom use them. Yeah. Are you guys using boulders to fire out of your slingshot? You bet. That's awesome. We figure boulders would do the most epic amount of damage when they hit your cardboard walls. Can we fire a few? Only if you're ready to operate the most powerful slingshot ever assembled in our break zone. Yeah! yeah! Pull back further. Pull back further. Even further. Further. shoes myself. Thank you. That's awesome. For my first design, I would like shoes with dirt in the bottom, so that way it feels like you're walking on the ground. Uh, so, shoes with dirt in it? Yeah, but if that's not your style, I also made shoes with little parachutes on the back, so you'll never fall. Wait a minute. Aren't you gonna trip over the parachutes as you walk? Well, you have to walk carefully. All righty then. We'll see you next time on We Build It, We Break It. Ew, I think I stepped on Hutch's new prototype for the dirt shoe. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.